What's up again, everybody? I saw some people talking about a Guy Gardner insect plague combo a while back, and I figured I'd make a short video describing how the combo can kill your opponent, i.e. deal 20 damage in three turns. So welcome to Mate in 3. Now before I show you this, let me make sure that you understand that the chances of actually landing this Mate in 3 are extremely slim, but it does exist, and believe it or not, when I sat down to test this, I think I landed it on my second try, and then the subsequent 8 or 9 that I did after that I missed, so it is kind of hard to put together. And this, of course, assumes that your opponent does nothing for their first three turns, doesn't field a character or disrupt you in any way. And if that's the case, then it acts kind of like one of those mates in chess where your opponent doesn't know about it or respect it, then you just get an auto win. So more than anything, this is just a fun little theoretical thing that shows you that you could technically win in three turns with this combo. All right, in order to show you this, I need to enlist the help of my hands. So let's cut over and say hello. So the first thing we're looking to do is we're looking to go second so that we can roll all four dice and not have to put one in the transition zone. The first thing we're looking for, we're looking for two scenarios here. One of them is fielding a sidekick and paying three for an insect plague. The other is rolling four energy with two fists so that we can buy two guy gardeners. If you get one of them on the first turn, look for the other on the second turn and vice versa. So in this case, we got the insect plague buy and now, luckily, here is the guy gardener buy. So we're going to buy two guy gardeners. One, paying two energy for second Guy Gardener. And then we're going to end our turn keeping our sidekick in the field and loading our bag up kind of heavy. So in order to land this combo, you're going to need to draw these four pieces all at the same time and leave all those sidekicks left over in the bag. So we're looking for two Guy Gardeners on their level two side. We're looking for Insect Plague on its burst face and one sidekick would be wonderful. If you get one energy, that's fine. If you get one sidekick, that's even better. Let's pretend I'm rolling this out. Let's see if we can land it. So looking and seeing what we get, we want those exact faces because it comes to an exact 20. So going to re-roll for those exact faces if we can get it. And it looks like on our own we do not land the combo. Sadly, so this was like attempt number 10. I didn't actually try doing this 10 times on camera But I did try it a few times so I figured why not but this is the setup that you're looking for looking to use insect plague Field these two guy gardeners have two sidekicks and then we're gonna roll everything from our bag And all we really need to land are two sidekicks from this. That's it We land two more sidekicks and put those out on the field Then we have 20 damage and as long as your opponent can't block it, you know, you win, right? So rolling it up we have two sidekicks right off the top, and then of course you also get the opportunity to roll again and go for more sidekicks, but we have what we need. We have four sidekicks in the field plus two guy gardeners. Each guy gardener gets a buff for how many things are attacking, so each guy gardener will be buffed up by a ton. Each guy gardener ends up being buffed to eight attack, making 16 for the two guy gardeners plus the four sidekicks that you've rolled up and fielded for a total of 20 damage. So you have yourself a nice little 20 damage, one turn kill on turn three. So as you can see, it takes a little bit of luck to put this together, but if your opponent does not field a sidekick or do something to blank your guy gardener, then you just win on turn three, which is always good. So there's the turn three win with guy gardener and insect plague. If you know of any other turn three win conditions, let me know in the comments below and we can pop out a video for it. As always, thanks for watching.